I go through the exercises that we're going to be doing over this week and the coming weeks with our equipment. So what we'll do is myself or Tom will demonstrate an exercise with the equipment we've got. So I've got resistance bands and a med ball. Tom's got pull cords. So we'll demonstrate the exercises and then we'll give you about a minute or so to practice each exercise. And today will just be about um, going through the technique of what we want from these exercises. So if... I've also got a bag as well. So if you don't have any of the equipment yet, at least you can yeah. have movement as well. Um, so we'll start, what we got uh, on my list. What do you want to start with, Tom? Go through some rows. Yeah. So we'll start with um, just some sit-down rows. They're nice and simple. So I'll put you on the floor. So if you've got resistance bands, you're just going to put them on either side of your feet. And you straighten up through your back. And you pull towards. And it's as simple as that. So there's your one row. Or you can go elbows out. Work more through the shoulders. So it's in or out. So that's how you're looking with a uh, resistance band. Um, Graham, can you swap them over to Tom? Will do. Tom will show you now with the bands or the cords. Are they on me? Yeah. yeah. Cool. So just get the resist the pull cords kind of anchored on something. So for me, I've got them on a, um, in between a door. Um, so mine came with like a little door jam thing that I can hook onto. Um, if you haven't got that, you can go like a door handle or around a pole or something that you've got in your house. And then pretty similar. So just pulling towards. All right. So tucking those, if you get those elbows out to the side, that's going to go upper back. And then if you go elbows in, that's going to go more towards your lats. So it's there. Um, so that's for the pull cords, and then if you've got a, a bag or if you've got a um, med ball, similar thing. It'll just be kind of holding the bag in your hands, leaning forwards, and then pulling in, tucking your elbows in, or pulling your elbows out, bending, and then you obviously you can make the bag as light or as heavy as you want to. All right. I think, guys, the important thing to note also is that you're pulling into your chest, so where your breastbone is. Okay, you think about where that is, you're pulling in towards there, okay? Thanks, Bob. Right, so we'll give you a couple of minutes now to work through the exercise and we'll try and ping through as many of your videos as you can and let you know if you need adjusting or if you're doing it okay. If you've only got one uh, resistance band, then you can just go one arm at a time. You don't have to do them both at the same time. Okay, guys, give yourselves a go now. Yeah, nice, Kelsey. And then if you tuck your elbows right into your sides. Good. Yeah, good. Okay. Stand a little bit further away. That's it. And then straighten out your back. So think about squeezing your scaps. Yeah, nice, Rosie. Then you can That's pull it. your elbows up as well. So if you're doing it with the pull, there you go. lean over. Nice there. You've got to think about having a straight back, guys. The straighter your back is, the more secure you're going to be. As soon as you start hunching over, you're going to compromise and leave yourself open for injury. Phoebe, just turn to the side a sec. Turn your body to the side, Phoebe. That's it. All right. Now straighten out your back. Davis, trying to use your back more, not that's trying to it, pull. Really. Trying to pull. So swap your grip round and then pull towards your chest. There you go. So like you're trying to on a rowing machine, that kind of movement. Phoebe, that's good. Neve Stork, that's good. Evan, once you're up, control the way back to your feet. Don't just let it flop back down. Hold and down. Yes, yeah, Sam, it would work with a row machine. Yeah, definitely. It's just exactly the same thing. You just, just, just row. Yeah, Pick good, Neve. Mally, don't let your upper body move. So when you, when you go back down, just through your arms, but keep your upper body still. Yeah, Kara, same for you. When you're doing single arm, just make sure that you think about where the, where the scaps are. You're pulling back in. 
with kind of squeezing your shoulder blades together, keeping your yeah, good, Eddie Morgan. Try and squeeze those shoulder blades together as well at the back. There you go. Nice there. And a Morgan, just push your chest up a little bit more. That's yeah, it. Good. That good. That's good, Emrys. So, Fee Davis, a bit more control when you go back towards your feet. So, when you pull up, don't just release, just slowly let it go towards your feet. Okay, That's it. Good, more control. Nice leech. Karis, can you just turn to the side good, a sec? Good, Olivia. Alicia, that looks good. Sophie Snow, that looks good. Molly, you're doing a good job there. Great, well done. Ro Rosie Dom, that's good girl, well done. Molly, make sure you're leaning that's forward, you're leaning over, so then you're pulling it towards your chest. So you're leaning over and then you pull it towards your chest, okay? Aris Gravel, push your side, move yourself to the side. Lily, just make sure your back's really flat, okay? <sighs> good, Ellie. Keep that back nice and flat, pull towards your chest. Good, Anya. So face face your wall, Harris. Face your wall. Oh, you can't. I see. I see. Sorry. Good, All right. Just carry on with your, what you're doing. That's then. great. Well done. Is the Edwards good job? Yeah, no, great. They look really good, guys. Well done. Well done, Darcy Sutton. Good girl. They were fine. Abdul looks good there, buddy. Ruby. Caitlin George. Good girl. Keep your upper body still and just move your arms. Good, Penny. In upright and just move your arms. Don't lean forwards and back. Yeah, Ruby, don't don't okay. lean forward and back. It's just through your arms. You just want to move through your arms. So you want to pull your arms towards yourself and then back away. So if you're not that's it. Good, good girl, that's don't good. rock. Get your elbows into your, your side, that's it. Good, Emily Duggan, yeah. Sweet. Good, Hannah Davidson. Keep your chin up, Ollie Coombs. Keep your chin up. That's it. Don't lean back. Good That's job. it. Good now, man. slow and controlled. Slow and controlled. That's it. Good lad. Nice, Katie Bambra. Katie, think about just tucking your, your tailbone under a bit more. So don't let your, don't let your lower back arch. Try and good. hold it a bit stronger. Jen, good job. Cool, right. Are you good to move on, coaches? Uh, yeah. 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 Back to you, Dave. Right, cool. Let me get my list up again. I'll spotlight you. All right, so we'll go um, shoulder, front raise, and side raise. Cool. So I'm going to pop you back on the floor. So for um, resistance bands, just going to pop them in just on your ankles. You're going to be here. Bring them up to your knees if you want. And then you're just going to go side raise. So your side raise is up to shoulder height. And then your front raise up to shoulder height again. So if you've got two, side raise, front raise. All right, simple as that. Um, and if you don't have... Bands. As an example, you could use two drinks bowls. I've just got two big candles that are in the room. From your side, side raise, front raise. Nice and simple. Tom will show you with the, the pull cords now. Let me just spotlight Tom. Yeah, no worries. There we are. Good to go, Tom. Yeah, they are, mate. Cool. So it would depend kind of how long your kind of cords are and how stretched they are so mine's quite short so i'll have to do one at a time so i'll kind of stand on part of it and then it'll just be same so lifting up to the side to about shoulder height i'll be there getting a stretch on and then same at the front here um and then yeah like dave said if you've got a bag or some um some water bottles or something heavy that you can hold in your hands you can do the same um if your cords are long and stretchy you can kind of stand in the middle of it and then go both at the same time so you can go both sideways, both forwards, obviously depending on what chords and uh, stuff you've got. Okay, thanks, Tom. No worries. Didn't Tom, can, uh, sorry, not Tom. Um, Graham, Marie's been kicked out. Could you just unlock the room for her? Yeah. Thank you. If you've got chords and stuff, you might have to play around with kind of like positioning and stuff like that. So... 
where you put your feet, where you have them. Right, so have a go now. Good, Evan. Good, Joe. Ella, slow it down. Guys, it's quite an intense um, thing to hold at the top, so you need to make sure that you've got control all the time. You're not lifting anything above your shoulder height. So, Jacob, that's too high. As soon as you get to your shoulder level, that's where you want to hold, okay? Make sure your arms are straight. So, Ellie, wait, Imi, and uh, on. I can see some bent arms. So, lock your yeah, that's yeah. good. Holly Coombs, have your hand facing down. So Hi, Fizzy Morgan, good girl. Sophie Davis, that's good, well done. Same thing as the row, just think about keeping that back straight. You want your back straight and your tailbone tucked under. Keep your core as strong as you can. Caitlin George, Sophie Snow, they look good. Ruby, you need to try and get up to your shoulder level. If it's too hard standing on it for both arms, just stand and do one arm at a time, okay? Yeah, so that's quite important. If you've got like a cord or the bands and stuff, you might have to have a little play around and find what works for you so you can get that full range of motion. So if you can't get it up to shoulder height, then it's probably either too tight or a bit too hard to try and get it to a point where you can get it all the way up to that shoulder height. You've got the just, um, just a quick note. If you're using resistance bands, just be careful that if they're not tucked under your legs properly, they will flick up and hit you in the face. And that's not a pleasant experience. Yeah. Trust me, I know. Anya, if, you're, um, if your cords are too tight or too um, strong, you won't be able to get your, shoulder, uh, your hands up to shoulder height. Max Gason, when you're lifting, just try and think about isolating your arm and your shoulder. Don't twist your body. That's it, good man. Yeah, Anya, you might need to, if you could just hold like a weight in your hand so you can do the full That's movement, great. exercise maybe. Good girl, Molly Dacey, well done. They look good. Like a dumbbell, a small dumbbell or a small weight if you've got one. So so let's have your palm facing down. Katie, Katie. Flick them around the ear and tell them to sort themselves out. Keep your arms straight. Max Gacy and Holly, that looks nice there, bud. Absolutely. That looks good. That looks good. Rosie Dom looks good. Darcy looks good. Ethan, good. Sophie Snow, that's good. Yeah, liking those. Molly, Daisy, very good. Like that. Yeah, Olivia, just try and sit up a bit more. You're a bit too full that's asking. Good, yeah. Try and put the cord under your bottom knee. That's it. So get it completely under your legs just to make the cord a bit tighter. Lily May, that looked good there. Izzy, yeah, do you look good? Just slow it down. Keep it controlled. Nice, Karis. Good girl. They look fine. Same thing, though. When you're going up, just control the, the back. You don't want any movement other than your arms. Alicia, just try and make nice sure... Nice, Emily Duggan. Good girl. Okay, Alicia, I can just see the elbows slightly bent. There you go. Try and lock your elbows out. I know it's hard. If it's too hard, just go and grab like a, a drinks bottle and do it with a straight arm, okay? Oh, no. If you can't lift them both together, then it's too tight. Amy, are you all right, love, or are you just spectating today? Caden, that's good. Just slow it down. <laughs> a bit of control there, yeah? Good, Caitlin. Nice knee stalk. Good girl. Kate, that looks good. With this, guys, as well, try not to shrug your shoulders up towards your ears. Try and make it all through the deltoid, so the shoulder muscle, not trying to shrug it up as well. Henry, try and keep those arms straight, okay? It's not bending your elbows. Your arm comes up straight. Lock your elbow out. Good Come on, Dan Linton, let's have a look. That's it, good girl. And forwards. Awesome, well done, good girl. Okay, coaches. Right, mm -hmm. next one. Right, where are we at next? Coach, save you up next or Tom, you up next? Who's up first? Um, we'll go tricep okay. and triceps next. Yeah. So, triceps, we've, um, we've got two different ways to do it depending on what you've got and what you feel more comfortable with. The first way is um, you can either hold it in one arm and then just squeeze backwards. Your elbow's tucked into the side there. You've got a door handle, put it on a door handle, but just cover it with your hand so it doesn't come off. Same thing, just squeeze backwards. 
And then your second way, age group as you would have done this on pool side, is just from this position, just lifting up. But making sure this hand stays in line with your head and doesn't go off to the side. It's got to stay in line with the head. Um, med balls, same thing. Above your head, just behind and up. Behind and up. All the time, thinking about keeping your back as straight as you can. So you don't want to be here. Chin up, back straight, lifting up. Guys, that would be the same for a, a bag as well. So you don't have any of that. If you've just got your swim bag, that would be exactly the same for that. Over to Tom. Are they on me, yeah? Yep. So, yeah, same kind of setup that you'd have on the door or around the door handle as you would for your uh, rows. And then you can either go two at a time, so you can kind of go back here, or if you can go one at a time, maybe. And then, like Dave said, for the um, other option, depending on how, um, how long or how stretchy your cords are, stand on one end or stand in the middle and then it's kind of just pressing. I don't know whether they can see that or not. A bit tall. And it's the same thing, just keeping that back straight and then pressing up through here, really working through there, keeping that back nice and flat. All right. All right, let's have a go. Karis Lunn, fantastic, well done. First screen I looked at, you were spot on the money. Yeah, guys, it doesn't matter whether you're standing up for this or kneeling down, whatever. Nice, Emma, good girl. Whatever makes it easier and what it depends on what equipment you guys have as well. Karis Rankin, could you um, put your video the right way around? It's hard to see <laughs> you on the side. Kelsey, they were looking good, good girl. Darcy looks good there. Um, Faye, I, not Faye, sorry, Jen, I can't actually see what you're doing. Jacob. Sophie Snow Jacob looks Barnett. good. Tuck your elbow into your side first, hold it against That's it, side. perfect. Let's have a look then. Push back. Yeah, Ruby and Henry, good look, looks good there, keeping that hand in line with your eyes. Nice, yeah. Jen, they're good, well done. Amy Fox, not hitting your sister around the head with a med ball, please. <laughs> yeah, the one time you did it, I saw it. Karis. Hi, Hannah Davidson. Good girl. You're back. Max Gates and Holly, good. Liv Manley, good. Molly Daisy, good. Evan, that's good. But see, when you let go, don't let your elbow move. Keep your elbow fixed in place and then just push down and then come. So you don't let your hand travel forwards, okay? Nice, Molly. They were looking good. Well done. Ruby yeah, and the, bag, the bag looked a little bit too heavy for you, Molly, okay? So for triceps, you might want to take a little bit of weight out of it, okay? Good early weight. Nancy, Nancy they're good. good. Sophie Noyle looks good. Caden, that's good. Phoebe, good. Imogen, can you, Lewis, can you just kneel down? I can't see you. Alicia Roberts look good. Let's have a look. Mary, that's fine. Ruby Stevens, uh, they good, look good, yes, well done. Good Henry Stevens, also looking good. Hey, good, Rosie Dom, good. Think about That's keeping good. the elbow in line with your shoulder. That's Don't let it go down to the side. Anna Davidson, good. try and keep your shoulder and your elbow still and just extending your elbow, not using your shoulder Jason as well. Doyle. That's good. So you might need to stand back a little bit if you've got quite long. Olivia Manley, that's good. And you go. great. Now give it a go. Lily, that's fab. Sophie Snow, good job. Nancy, that's great. Ollie Coombs, just that's great. Make sure your hand doesn't go out to the side, okay? Just stay above your head. Alicia, Alicia Roberts, come to the screen a second. Good. Graham, can you just spotlight me again? Hang on, let me just do that. Dave likes the spotlight. I do love the spotlight. Right, hang on, I've lost Alicia's screen now. Right, where's Alicia gone? Good job. Um, I've lost you, Alicia. Oh, there you are. I got you. I got you. So when you're doing the, the arm in front of you, you need to lean forward slightly and hold it here, and then keep this elbow tucked into yourself. 
so it's not coming out wide or underneath it's tucked keep it in line with the shoulder yeah that's quite important with these uh, triceps guys just make sure you keep that elbow tucked in and it's just an extension of the elbow you're not trying to use your shoulder as well so it's not it's not a pull it's not pulling it's just going from this position under and back so you're going from a bent arm to a straight arm that's it yeah that's better <laughs> Don't don't overdo the back end of it though. You don't have to go all the way back up. Just to a straight arm. That's it. Good girl. Perfect. All right, we ready for the next one? Yeah, all good. What do you want to go with? If anyone's got any questions for any of these exercises, just pop them in the chat, okay? We're we're watching the chat as we go through. Uh, the next one's gonna be biceps. Yeah, so spotlighted me, haven't you? Huh? Am I spotlighted or not? Yeah, you are. Mm. I am. Spotlight. Okay. Cool. Okay. Um, so again, depending on how kind of big or long your cords are. So for me, I'm standing on standing in the middle with one foot, turn my hands around here, and then just curling up the top bit, nice and controlled on the way down, making sure I keep my elbows tucked into my side. I'm not trying to lift and bring my bike, my elbows away from my side. So tuck them in, and it's just curling through there. Um, right, Tom. Sorry? Demonstrate that on a side view. I choose the side view. So just try to make sure that Tom's not leaning forwards, his back's really straight. Yes, yeah, so I'm here. So for me, I've got to stand uh, on the band with one foot. Depending on your band, you might have to stand on it with two. You might have to have it a little bit wider just so you can get enough tension on it. And then with a bag or anything like that, that'd be the same. Grab the handles and then same, pull it up here, making sure we're not bringing those elbows away from our side here. All right, we're just trying to isolate the biceps and just go here. All right. All right, can I get the spotlight again? You're on. All right, with a band. So same position as when you did your rows. Um, it's up to you how far you where you put your feet, but it's just arms by your sides, bands around your feet. Same thing, just curl up. Okay, and just look at Dave's elbows really fixed. The, the longer your leg is, the harder it is to control. So you're best to have a, a leg there just to contr help control your elbow. Um, and that's pretty much it. If you've got a med ball, same as with the bag, it is just in front of you here, just curl up. Okay. All right, let's go. All right, let's see the gun show. Good, Emily Doug. Yeah. Good. Hey, that looks good there, buddy. Just control it on the way down. Emily Duggan, just bend bend your knee and have your elbow on your leg. That's it. Just so you've got you can control to start, okay? Lizzie Morgan, good job. Imogen Lewis, that looks good there. Just make sure we're not leaning back at the top. Keep everything nice and still. So when you're doing a single arm, try not to let your shoulder come forwards, okay? Keep your shoulders set back and down. So if you noil, that looks yeah, good. Yeah, nice, Karis. Good girl. Just control on the way down, Karis, okay? Don't, just don't drop them. Just control on the way down. When you're holding things in your hands, keep your palms facing towards the ceiling and then curl up your, so your palm faces your face. That makes sense? Nancy, yeah, you've got up. elbows tucked into your side, so you're just trying to bend your elbows. Nice, Jen. Hands come towards your shoulders. There you go. <laughs> good, Neat Davis. Come on, Faye, let's see your biceps then. Good, Kelsey. Good, Caden. Good, Phoebe. Good, Sophie Dave. Phoebe, good. Alicia, yeah, looks good. good. Married. Imogen, very good. Penny, good. Karis, that looks good. Matt. Nice, Faye. Well done. Good, good girl. Nice. Caitlin, good. Rosie Dom, good. Sophia, good. Nice, Jacob. Good. Yeah, Joe, that's good. good. Well done. Dad. You'll have biceps as big as mine soon, Joe. Abdullah, I hope you're not beating your brother up there. <laughs> Kate Dunlinson, that looked good there. Olivia, good. Anya, that's good. Karis Lund, that looks good. Guys, try not to challenge the weight today. It's not about challenging through the weight of what you're doing or the resistance. It's just about the technique. Good so if enough. it is quite light, right. don't worry about it. Good, Izzy Edwards. Nancy, just bend your knees a second. So bend your knees up and then get your elbows on your thighs. 
elbows, thighs. Put your elbow, that's it. That's it, that's it. That's better, good girl. Straighten out your back now, Nancy. Chest up. So just that biceps moving, nothing else. Good nice, Immy. Well, good. Slow, slow down on the way down, though, Immy. So when you go up, Is he don't release, good? just control down. Kelsey Don look good there. That's better. Good girl. All right, we all good? Yeah. yeah. Do you want to go to um, overhead press, Dave? Okay, let me see. Um, yes. Cool. All right, guys, rest there. Yeah. Next. All right, so overhead press um, with a med ball. It is nice and simple. Exactly what it says on the tin. It is pressing up. So overhead, pressing up above your head. Um, That'll be the same with the bag as well. So if you got yeah, a bag, same, same you got for bag. With these, I'm yet to find a way to do it without getting slapped in the face. Um, so there, it's quite hard to do it with ease at the moment. So it'd be the same as how you would do your side raises. It would just be up. But like mine are too small to be able to do it. Tom will show you with pull cords. Let me just spotlight Tom. Cool. Okay. So, yeah, for these, um, again, because mine are quite small, I'll have to kneel down and have them kind of underneath my feet, behind me, um, get a bit of tension here, and then it's just pushing up, pushing up here. Um, so from there, trying to keep those elbows, try not to let everything just collapse at the bottom. So pushing all the way up and then control on the way down. Um, if yours are a bit longer and you can stand up and do it, that's fine. You can do it kneeling down or standing up, depending on the length and strength of your, of your cords. Guys, if they're really short, just kneel and do one, okay? Right, take... um, Anya, yeah. Can I just, just get spotlight one more time? In the spotlight there, yeah. So it is just ball from chest above your head. Yeah. Can you do uh, that? with the full movement, just, you can just go half and just keep it above your head. Can but you, you just want your elbows to go out and then come in. So it's not a straight up movement. It just needs to come out and up. Can you do that on the other side, you Dave? Yeah. So back straight, so looking forwards, up, down. So the ball's kind of go up in a very straight line, just in front of Dave's face. Do, 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 do. All right, let's have a go at that. Yeah, nice knee stalk. Just try and think about tucking your tailbone under a bit. Oh, I see that. Yeah. Good. Caitlin, oh, Jordan, Bill. good. Nice, Joe. Good lads. If you're doing it with a ball, don't let it go lower than your chest, okay? Don't bring it right down. Keep your chest up. Good. Penny, that looks good. Sophie Davis, just turn to the side a second. Jacob Barn, that looks good. Hannah Davidson. Good job. This yeah, just tuck your tailbone and under. So. Shoulder. So you want to kind of bring your shoulder down to the side and then push up. So from there and then push up to the ceiling, straight up, and then drop that elbow down. That's it, Kels. That's it, Hannah. Oh, Graham, can you just spotlight me quickly so I can show Hannah? Yeah. Can I just watch Tom? So you'll be here and then you'll be pushing straight up. So it's body, it's elbow going up to straight and down. So if you're doing a single arm, it'll be here and then there. Okay, so that elbow does come down to the side as well. And then. Camera, Tom. Face the camera, do it again. Camera. Nice, Karis ranking, good girl. That looked good. Start position Tom's elbow. Okay. So elbow to the side and then there. That's it, good. Thank you. No worries. Neve, you're arching that lower back again. Just keep that back secure, okay? Guys, if you're struggling with the pull cords or the resistance bands, just do it with a water bottle just to get the movement right. Very and fun. then you can Good. build up to your bands. But if it's too much and you're arching Good, that back, all that's going to happen is you're going to work the wrong muscle group and end up injuring yourself. 
Anna Davis and that looked better from what I just saw. Hello. No, Anna, don't <laughs> drop it on her head. That's good. Angus, that looked good. Sophia, that's good. Good, Anya. Nice, Caden. Good lads. Good, Abdullah. Good, Owen Olivia. Leach, good job. Manly, nice. Well done, Lily Hutch. Good job. Phoebe, took your tailbone under a bit. Rosie and Penny, very Fantastic. good. Good girl. So nice, Ollie nice. Coombs. Sophie D, bring it back to your chest if you can. Katie Bamber, they were good. Sophie Snow, good. Sophie Noyle, good. Izzy Edwards, good. Izzy, bring your elbows down to your side. Uh, Neve Stork, keep those elbows tucked into your side. So go down to the side as well. Yeah, good from there uh, and up. Bit of football there. There you go. Oh, do we want to go on to some... Yeah. I think, I think that's pretty much all. Oh, Tom, show, do the swimming. I can't do the swimming, really. Yeah, okay. I so, Tom, Tom these, this is more pull cords specific. So if you haven't got pull cords, it's quite a hard one to, to do. Um, yeah, you can all see me. So again, have your, your cord kind of set up either in a door or around something. Um, you want to be leaning forwards here. Hands, you want to have your hands open. So as if we were about to catch or pull in swimming here. And then you can go kind of freestyle movement. So getting that high elbow catch here. You can go fly. In there as well. You can do breast stroke to an extent, so you can kind of do that sweeping movement. There, don't do what I just did and drop it. <laughs> and that doesn't work. So yeah, it's just kind of pulling that sweep out or going into that kind of freestyle and fly kind of catch movement from there. So some of, some of the older swimmers, you would have done this before on poolside, uh, but for the younger swimmers, your position, you need to make sure you've got back flats. And it's not just hunched over pulling the, the cord. It's about pushing your bum back, pushing your chest down and being strong through those movements. If you've got cords, we'll never go at that. Yeah, like we said, it's, it's um, quite specific for pull cords. If you've got bands, you could wrap them around the door and do something similar. So you just, you're gonna to have to do it one arm at a time and just make sure this other on the back is um, secure on the door handle. Just look at Dave's elbow position as well. So just trying to rethink about fixing that elbow. So it's, it's not quite as effective, but you can still get a similar, similar movement. Yeah, nice Caden, that's it. Yeah, uh, with the cords, depend on how long and strong the cords are, depend on how far the movement you can do. Um, so if they're quite long, then you can do a full stroke potentially. So you can kind of go from that catch through and all the way to the back. Obviously, Neve if they're quite Davis. strong or tight bands, then that's going to be quite tough. Neve Davis, just bend over at the hips so your head is towards where your cords are attached and step back so your cords are tight. I want to see you bent at the hips, or is he leaning forwards? Good, Sophie Noyle. More, more, more. Is he that looks good from what I can see. Lean a bit more, Neve. Okay, now really think, just getting the elbow up, just getting that press, lifting the elbow. Emrys, you need to bend over more. That's it, and now push your chest forward and squeeze your scaps. Image and Lewis, that's, that's good. That's it. Think about you're leaning forwards like you are. That looks good. Barney, that looks good. Push the elbow down. Lift the elbow. Push the hand down. So you feel like you're pulling your hand towards... Uh, nice, Kelsey. You don't have to actually swim over the top, though. Hannah Morgan, that looks nice. Just Some of you guys are not bent over enough, okay? You need to be bent in the middle. So your bum's out and your head is towards the, the cords. Evan, when you looked forward, you were in a much better position. When you tuck your chin in, your back completely arched. Right, that's that's it. Good lad. That's the position. Now bend your elbows. There we are. That's it. Good man. Right, coaches. Yep. Right. So I think we're on to lower body now. Okay. Yep. What do you want to go with? Do you want to go um, into well, let's start with squats. They're nice and simple. Yep. So who's... If I get a um, spotlight... Yeah. All right, squats are nice and simple. If you've got a med ball, 
you're just going to hold it underneath with the palm of your hands to your chest and it's just squat down. Make sure when you squat your back stays completely flat and it's not curling over the ball. Keep it, push your bum back, back flat. If that's too easy, ball above your head and squat. Same thing though, keep your back as flat as you can. If you've got resistance bands, there's two ways you can do this with resistance bands. Put them under your feet and then it's squat down and the resistance comes on the way up. The second one is you put your band above your knees and when you squat, stretch the band. So you're pushing against the band as you squat down. So there you fall from me. Med ball against your chest, med ball above your head, and then you've got bands pull from under your toes or put one across your legs. Okay. Over to Tom now. Um, yeah, so for the pull cords, it's pretty similar to the resistance band. So I'll be standing on it, having a bit of tension, squatting down, making sure pushing your hips back first, not looking to go knees forwards. So hips back, sitting down, lower down, and then that resistance comes as you come up. Again, you might have to have a little play around with um, and a position, how wide your feet are, where you hold it. So sometimes you might have to kind of hold a bit of a bicep curl just to get a bit more resistance on the way up and on the way down. And things like that, depending on how long and how strong the cords are. Okay. And then if you've got a bag or anything like that, it's the same as, the, um, as with the ball. So you can hold it kind of on your chest, you can put it on your back, or you can hold it above your head. Okay, guys, have a go at that. Yeah, nice, Caden. Good job. Rosie Dom, very good. Well done. Good, Kaus. Imogen Fox, good girl. Emma Cottrell looks good there. <laughs> Even better, Honor. Well done. Sophie Davis, just have your feet slightly wider. Alicia Roberts, good girl. They were good. There you go. And then on the way up, squeezing those knees out. That's better. Good job. Caitlin, try not to fold over a bit too much. Keep your chest upwards, okay? Good, Mally. Same you. Just push That's that. That's better. Up yeah. Going down. There you go. Barney, that looks good there, bud. Good girl, Mally. That's good. Well done. Nice, Amaris. Kate Dunlinson, good girl. Izzy Ed, if you've kind of got longer ones, just hold that bicep curl on the way down, on the way up. So kind of Eyes alley weight, up, good girl. Right, we're gonna we're gonna move quickly on because I'm just conscious of time. Um, so we're gonna go straight into lunges now. Okay, Dave, I'll spotlight you first. Yeah. Okay, you're right. So same as with the squats, your lunge, you're holding the ball. Um, you're holding the ball and you're just squatting down. I haven't got much space, so I'll do reverse lunges. So it is just holding the ball. If that's too easy, above your head, but just make sure you're not arching or bending over backwards. You've got to keep strong through the back. Um, with the bands, it's a little bit harder. But what you're going to do, squat, isn't it? is a split squat, so you're just going to hold that position here, and it's down and up. Okay, so split squats instead of lunges for bands. Ooh. Yeah, and that's the same for your cords as well, so you kind of hold it on the front foot, um, so put the cords under the front foot. Oh, sorry. Um, that's right. There you go. So on that front foot, kind of in that lunge position, again, kind of just play around with where the resistance needs to be, and then it's just thinking about lunging down and back up. So lunging down, back up. Big thing, when we're here, make sure that this front knee goes forwards and over our toes. We're not looking to go here or out, okay? So we're trying to hold that control of going straight and then back up from there. All right? And then again, if you've got a bag or anything like that, same thing, you can hold it in front. You can do lunges with the bag. So you can go here, you can have it on your back, or you can have it above your head. 
Hi, Evan Winston. That looks good. Well done, buddy. Okay, let's go. Nice, Katie Bambra. Guys, think about your balance. You've got to get that balance in this. Um, Elizabeth, yeah, just step a little bit further forward. Do see that facing the, the camera, just so I can see where your knees are going. Sophia Chaika, that looked good. That's it, good girl, fab. Yeah, good. So do you feel that little bit of a wobble on your left side there? Making sure you keep that left knee over your toes when you do that lunge there. All right. Karish, your camera looks like it's in a bouncy castle. <laughs> yeah, Nancy, just control that knee there. Okay, it looks good going back. And then just make sure you keep that knee nice and strong over your toes. There you go. Yeah, nice, Jen. Well done. Well done, Kels. Well done, Evan. Well done, Karis. Right, if we're happy to move on, we'll go on to the next one. Yep. Do you want to go? I'll go up, monster yeah. walks. Yeah, up to you. Yeah. Um, this one's a bit specific to these bands. Um, but it's your yeah, squat walks. So you're going to have your band around your ankles. Keep it wise. And you're going to squat. And you're just going to walk without releasing the tension of the band. So the band always has to stay tense. Everything else is just like a squat. Okay, so if you haven't got bands, it would just be squat walks with a med ball or a bag. Yeah. Okay, they're nice and simple. The band goes around your ankles and it's got to stay tight the whole time as you walk. Thomas? Yes? Did you say you found a way with... Um... I can try it. So with the cords, it'd be kind of similar to if you were going with your squat again. And it's just a little movement here, trying to hold. So you'd be squatting down and then just a little movement, trying to keep that tension on that band. There. All right. That is a lot easier with the, uh, the smaller bands. Right, guys, give it a go. So when you're doing, if you've got it with the resistance bands, hopefully we're feeling that in our glutes. It's quite a very, very good glute activation exercise. So hopefully we're feeling it through there. If you're doing it with a weight as well, should be feeling it through our quads and our glutes as well. Nice, Sophie Noyles. Yeah, good guys. Yeah, good, Alicia Roberts, well done. Well done, Evan. Amy, you're kind of in the way there, love. Paris Rankin, try and move the outside leg first. So if you're going to your right, move your right leg first, then your left leg. That'll keep that tension in that band. Yeah, nice on her, well done. Look good. Do you want to go one more? Do you want to go RDL or not bother? Um, yeah, we can do. We've, we've still got five, ten minutes. Um, Katie Bambra, just when you go through those monster walks, when you take your step, you're just stepping a bit too close together with your feet. So your second step was always a little bit too big. Yeah, it's a bit better. You're still... When you take your second step with your left leg, you're just a bit, it's just the step's a bit too big. Ollie Coombs, you want that band around your ankles, not your knees. That's it. Wide feet, wide feet. And then your feet aren't allowed to come close together. Nice, Molly Dacey. Storky, that looks good. Anya, that looks good. Uh, it's around your ankles, Caden. You want it around your ankles. Nice, Darcy Sutton. 
Um, yeah, Sophie Davis, try and do it without falling over. Other than that, that's good. Kelsey, good. Right, um, next one. All right, let me get to you. Did you want to spot like Tom? Yeah. So this is a RDL um, or a straight leg deadlift. So you'll have your, with the cords, you'll have your feet and cords set up like you would for your squat. And then we're looking to go push your hips back, keep your legs, you have a slight bend in your knees, keep your back straight. So you'll go down, you'll no tension on the band, and then the tension will come as you squeeze your glutes and come forward. So from the side, I'll be here. So push your hips back, back straight. So here, so you should feel a bit of a stretch on your hamstrings, and then it's squeezing up through your glutes up into that straight position, and that's where the tension will come from. So it's here, and then squeeze through. And up with a bag, or the ball as well, that'll be similar. So you can kind of hold it at your chest here, same position, hips go back, legs straight, kind of go to here, get a bit of a stretch, and then squeeze up from there. And up. All right. Okay, Dave, what about you? Um, same as when you did your squats with these bands, it's one on each foot. So you start in this position. So you want soft knees, just come down and then back up. So you're not looking, there's your squat movement. You want to just pivot over. So you want to come over your floor. Let's get that up a bit. Just bend back, coming over. So it's all through your, uh, your hamstrings and then it's back up. And then same as with the bag, keep your ball on your chest, forward and up. If, that's, if your ball's slightly too heavy for you, you can just hold it here, same effect. Okay. Right, guys, give it a go. Good, Emily Duggan. Yeah, nice, Joe. Guys, just remember you want soft knees, okay? Don't lock your knees out, keep them soft. So they want to be straight, but not locked. And the crotch will just slow that movement down a little bit. Don't rush it. Good, Hannah Morgan. That's better. Nice, Caden. Mally, you're trying to sit down. It's a bit more like a lean forwards. Okay? That's well done, Katie Bamber. Good girl. Trying to think about leaning forwards. That's it. And then up nice and straight. Push your hips forwards. That's it. Good, Anya. Sophia, when you go down, don't lift the cords up. Let the cords go towards your feet. Good, Duggan. No, no. Think about how, look, can you just spotlight me again, Graham? Yeah. Liv Manley, if you watch Dave as well now. Okay, you're on. Where's it's RDL, Caden. Three, three letters, RDL. Hang on, let me just... I've lost you, Sophia. Where have you gone? Oh, my God. Where have you gone, Sophia Troika? She's waving at you. I know. Oh, I got you, I got you, I got you. Right. So, where you're, where you're leading over and lifting up your hands, hands just sink down towards the floor. So, from this position, my hands would go down just below my knees and then come back up. So, you want this, the bands to be really loose here and then stretch on the way up. Does that make sense? Yeah, perfect. That's better. Much better, uh, Soph. Much better. Right, guys, that's really time up now, okay? Yeah. Okay. When you come up, don't bend your elbows. Straight back, knee stalk. Good. 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 Right. Um, so that, that's time. All, if we introduce any other exercise, there will be explanations through videos, okay? But that's most of the exercises we'll be doing. And I would say the most important thing is straight back. So every time you do an exercise, you've got to think about where your back position is because that's where you're going to cause yourself the most injury when you start loading through resistance and weights.
also as well just make sure that you've got when we're starting these we're starting off light so either with a lightweight or kind of a lighter resistance until you feel comfortable with that technique worst thing you can do as well is overload too early so if your back is in a poor position you're going to hurt yourself quite quickly if you're in a poor position and loaded too high as well okay guys that's great thank you all very much all right see you all soon